We're in Chicago and we went to the marketing store today and they partner up with McDonald's to help design and create the toys for the Happy Meals. Basically how the McDonald's toy goes from idea and conception to the actual toy that you get in your Happy Meal. I learned a lot of amazing things today. It was exciting for me because the whole idea and concept uh, that's going on right now is Shrek and he's of course one of my favorite characters. We think it's so simple to put that toy in the bag, but today we saw what goes into it. 15 to 20 months ahead of time, they start planning. We started off by seeing how they developed the sketching. From sketching, they went into, um, they had a room where they would role play to try to develop and get into character to see what, what has been done before, what could be something different. And they even had a guy, Ray, who could do the voices of the characters, which really got them all into the movie mode itself. I'm scared of ogres, Shrek. Originally, the idea is um, on paper to computer. And then from there, from that, that design of that on a 2D object, they took it to like a 3D. And that was a really interesting thing because they actually have a pen that actually floats. And when you push the pen, you can actually feel the character on the screen. So basically, we got to follow the whole process and we actually got to get a little hands-on too. It's coloring in the line. First grade, second grade, third grade. The best part was they take the 3D sketch and they actually make a mold out of it in three to four hours and they have it. There, it is. Well, I have one in my suitcase. They gave me one. A little mini Shrek made out of wax and resin. It's unbelievable. The kids are going to freak out how they would set up their uh, moldings to develop the character and they would do three different type of prototypes to see which one would, would be cost effective what looked most like the character. They have the bite tester and the pole tester, and these toys are put through insurmountable amounts of stress. They actually have little um, contraptions that show the diameter of what a child's throat would be to ensure that there's no choking or safety issues involved. There's some McDonald's standards that definitely go above and beyond the regulatory standards, and that's due because of the known injuries that are out there that we know that even though they might be age graded for three and up for children, we know that 18 months old and two year olds get involved with them. It was such a partnership between safety and deciding on what the characters would be. We're getting so used to the McDonald's standards being so high that we expect it and it doesn't like wow us anymore because we're seeing it all the time. And today I think was a prime example. Everyone's offices had collections, they had collections of toys, they were all smiling, they were all really liked what they do. It was like, it was a really good energy. Once again, the people, all of the people there were just so extremely passionate about their jobs. So it gives you that whole persona again that I always get from McDonald's is the family feeling and everyone interacts so well and they all love their jobs. So when you love your job, you do it great and they definitely do that there.